Hello and welcome to the second episode of this single player series of Medieval Minecraft. I am your host, the Judgmental Cat. Now for those of you who don't know, Medieval Minecraft is a mod pack made by Lunapixel Studios and I sort of like to categorize it as a vanilla plus plus because it takes all of what uh, Lunapixel Studios Better Minecraft is and adds like a few more mods for like magic and medieval feeling to it. Now, today, we have an important item that we need to make so our adventuring in this mod pack is a little bit easier and we can be out of our base for longer. But, you know, something very bad happened while I was prepping for this episode. If you've ever played Terraria, you know there is this thing called the Blood Moon that happened while I was prepping. It was not a fun time. So I was trying to prepare for this episode and uh, the the blood moon happened. It's not good. At all. No. Why there's so many of you? Stupid blood moon. I just wanted to prepare for my episode. That's all I wanted. Oh, 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 oh. Where, 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 where? I'm blind. There's stupid flowers in the way. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm on one heart again. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. What is that? Who's floating? Oh, that one's fast. Why is he fast? Does he have fast stats? Like, stop. Oh my god, his skeleton's an aimbot. No, 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 no. I can't see. Oh my god. I can't see! Oh no! Oh my god. Ah! Uh. <gasps> <gasps> this blood moon! Right, as you can tell, the blood moon was not very nice to me in a couple of instances, and we're just gonna move on for that and pretend it never happened. Um, but the Blood Moon is from a mod called the Enhanced Celestials. There's three different moon types. There's the Blood Moon, the Harvest Moon, and the Blue Moon. Where the Harvest Moon allows crops to grow faster. The Blue Moon gives you luck for the entire night and improves your vanilla loot. But going on from that, the reason why we are here is because we want to get the Traveler. I can spell it. The Traveler's Backpack. Now, this backpack will be helpful for adventure. It's got an inventory and everything, and we'll get to it when we make it. The, the only problem I have right now is that I need some gold ingots I don't have. And I believe I have some iron ingots lying around from looting some other things. But the main thing is gold I don't have. And so, on the map, if we look, leave up here this is a ruined nether portal i want to check that out see if it has any gold i don't know what this is i wonder if this is like a villager outpost or something i don't think so yeah um no 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 it, it. jackie falcons the pillager who are you what are, what are you what are these names Yeah, so the nether portal's there, and there is, in fact, a pillager outpost. <gasps> that surprisingly worked out better than I thought. Just have the pillagers shoot at each other. That is great. I see some gold. This is some weird looking... Ow! Fire. Oh my... Don't mind if I do. Hello, gold block. Thank you. And now we have what we need. For the most part, I'm gonna loot what's in the pillager thing. And then we could probably make the backpack. Yeah, we got in here. Infinity. Oh, that's good. Bottle of enchanting, a crossbow. Let's get another achievement while we're here. Hello, I would like an achievement. I know you're out here. Hey! Yeah, there you go. 
Leave me alone! I'm gone. I'm gone. I get it. You don't want me here. Well, guys, that took quicker than I expected it to. So we're back here in our base, and we have a backpack to make. Now, how do we make this backpack? Well, you're going to need a few things. The backpack tanks that are needed for the traveler's backpack. So the recipe for those is as such. You find it in REI. Now, just a quick note. We talked about what this was in the last episode. It is actually from a mod called Visual Workbench. And I thought it was pretty cool. It is pretty neat. And also, just one quick thing before we continue crafting that. If you need to move inventories or anything, or anything like a chest, you can basically pick up a chest by shift and right clicking on the chest. And if we look in F5 view, we're carrying it. Just a helpful little tip. And back to crafting. So, these are our backpack tanks. I'm going to take those. You will also need a sleeping bag. So once you have the sleeping bag, leather, and tank, and a single gold ingot, you can now make the backpack. And that is how you make your traveler's backpack. Now one thing to go along with a traveler's backpack that you will need is a, a nozzle. The nozzle is made with a gold ingot, a lever, and two iron ingots in this recipe. And then you need to make the hose. And the hose is four green dye and the nozzle in this shaped crafting recipe. Now as for the backpack itself, if you right click it in the air, you can open it. And as you can see, you have two, two empty tanks on the side. This right here is a crafting table you can use to craft stuff. So if I put in this, I can craft a gold nugget. So there's no need to carry a crafting table in your inventory anymore. It's just always in your backpack. And then you have these green slots here, which are a special tool slot. So if we were to take my sword here and then go over to my axe, there is a key bind that is either change mode, change the hose mode or change the current tool. And if you click that, if you were wearing the backpack, it only works if you're wearing the backpack. You do that and go to a tool. You can switch in between tools and you can see that our current tool gets put on the backpack, which is pretty neat. Now, another feature of the backpack, which is great, is once you take it off, you can actually place it on the ground by shift right clicking. Once you shift right click, you can right click the backpack and you can deploy a sleeping bag. So if you're out adventuring, don't have a bed, you can sleep through the night. And that is pretty handy for adventuring all over the place because you don't really need to be home. And then to get it up off the ground, you just break it with your hand or a tool, and then you can put it back on your back. Now, one thing to note is with the hose, is when you have the hose, if you look, you can see that the hose is not assigned to anything. What you do is you put on the backpack onto your back, and then you right click with the hose. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that a tank is selected for which tank we're on and that can be changed with the hotkey. Now unfortunately what I originally wanted this backpack for was to store purified water. Unfortunately with the hose there is a drink mode but it doesn't work with the dehydration purified water which sucks but I mean you have a backpack you could probably put like three slots for like purified water bottles. The, the hose has a suck and spill mode so if you do the suck mode and right click on a water source it'll fill it up and then if you do this with it the spill one it'll place water down so you can have i believe it's eight buckets total of any liquid you want in here one thing i did forget to mention 
about the Traveler's Backpack is that there are different variants of them. So if we look in here, we can look at all the different variation of Traveler's Backpacks. Now, some of them can only be obtained from certain ways, other of them you can craft, and they have uh, special effects. I think it's time to go on an adventure with this backpack we just made. I saw some places on the map I wanted to explore. The last time I went into one of these temples, the one we're currently living in, it uh, didn't go so well. Yeah. Do creepers just live in these? Like, That's uh, very... <laughs> They're all gone, thank god. I I think I officially hate these kind of temples. Like they just have exploding creepers everywhere for no pain. I wonder if there's like a spawner down here. Hey How are you? It's like you're stuck there. What do you have for me, Temple? It better be good. We got Radiance. Chance to spawn a healing crowd around target. Interesting enchantment. Some diamonds. I guess I'll take this. I don't know if I can put it on other mobs that we might see. I'm gonna take some of this coal in here as well. That looks like something interesting. What don't I need? Don't need cobblestone. What is this? Shield of Infinity Helmet. Anything else in here? What do we got? More stuff? String. I totally forgot I'm wearing a backpack. Why? Why be dumb? I don't like coming in here. It's official. These are just evil places where creepers live. For no good apparent reason whatsoever. Shut up, duck. Nobody asked your opinion. Huh. I'm gonna see if I can find where this is. I found the village, but a uh, slight problem. It's floating. Use our trusty, dusty backpack. And we do not have to deal with night on our little adventure here. It's definitely in here somewhere. Where's my treasure? There it is. What do you got? What do we have? Pirates say it gave sight to the legendary end remastered. Well, we have something we need to get to the end. It's one of many. Ooh, a heart of the sea. Always find one of those in here. Some food. Diamond, gold, and iron. Not bad. I don't know what happened to my apples. Did I get rid of them? I guess it's a good thing we found food. One moment, I'm gonna go look back at the footage and figure out what happened to my apples. Well, I found the apples. They went into the face slot. Right, so we have a problem. The village is up there. Oh, what is that? Hey. Hey, maybe you. Ooh, wait, can we, can we tame you? Hello? Hi! Where'd you fall from up there? Oh, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That is, uh, that was not my intention. We gotta get up there. I think the only way we get up there this building. Right, up we go. Okay, we've made it up here. I don't know what kind of village this is. Ooh, leveled up. What will we get? I think 
we get more luck so we can get some more crit. Like, uh, really? I never made an iron. Oh, that's right. I think I, I found diamonds before I found iron. Does this mean there's redstone? There is. I like these. These are nice blocks to have. Don't worry, friends. I'll replace your lost valuables with torches. It's like the same thing. Why do you have another cartography? Well, more glowstone lamps for me. Or redstone lamps. What is this, a chair? Something. Stare off into the abyss. So, what did we get from our adventure here? So, we got some new armor so we could replace our old one. We found a much needed thing because the end is much more difficult to get into. Found a heart of a sea, some nautilus shells, prismarine, some enchanted books, some diamonds, which is not bad. Could probably make a diamond sword or something out of diamonds. Gold, some iron. It's not a bad haul for the first adventure. Could definitely be uh, more selective with our next adventure. I don't know. Those temples that are made of grass, I don't like their basement whatsoever. They're evil. But anyways, guys, thanks for joining me on this adventure. I hope you learned how to expand your adventuring capabilities. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.